Hello, Daka here, Dr. Novocaine, the Doc, the Doc Man, whatever you want to call me. And I'm going to start with my special weapons run of Mega Man 2. Yes, Mega Man stopped the evil desires of Dr. Wily once, but Dr. Wily has come back and now he's got his own Robot Masters. So, once again, I've got to take him on, using only his powers. That building is rather tall. Are we in Dubai? Mega Man 2 had two difficulty settings, but I don't know why anyone would want to play on normal when difficult is the real difficulty setting. Honestly, normal is the... normal is ridiculous. Double damage on your buster? That's just not right. Fantastic music in this game, by the way, in case you didn't know. Now, anyone who has played Mega Man 2, or indeed heard more than enough about it, knows that when you're going for special weapons, the cream of the crop is Metal Blade, which would be Metal Man stage. However, <coughs> that's just a little bit too easy, a little bit too straightforward, a little bit too predictable. Instead, I'm going to start at a place that wouldn't be recommended as a starting point, Quick Man stage. Yes, that's right. I'm going to face off the force beams right away. Quickman stage is notorious. Oh, uh -oh. I can't get that extra life. Sorry, I'm gonna have to leave my head behind. <coughs> anyway, people know what Quickman stage has. It has those death lasers. Their official name is Force Beams, but I like the name Death Lasers better, really. This first section, they're not too difficult. Uh, as long as you're not a fool. That was... <laughs> that was a little bit too close. Full disclosure, I did practice this stage once before I played it on video. You now, just wanted to make sure that I remembered everything that was going on. As usual, because I don't have any special weapons yet, the first stage is going to be Buster only. But that's part of the reason why I want to get Quick Man's stage out of the way first. There's not really all that much to shoot at. <coughs> and because there's not all that much to shoot at, it makes a good stage to start with the Buster if I want to minimize my use of it. Alright, time to go! Ooh, this is a close one! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm through the first two screens. Those are usually the worst for me. Um, screen four, complete. I'm not getting that extra life. Screen five, done. Screen six, oh wow, that was close. Screen seven, I think is the last one. And, phew, passed on the first try. Uh, but now I have to get past these guys. I thought they only shot if you were on the ground. Okay. Um, once the Sniper Joes are out of their little mechs, they're easy enough to deal with, but... I have at least one more mech to deal with. And I'm probably going to scroll it back on screen. Oh, I'm just gonna run past this. Oh, dang. Dang, 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 dang. Ha. Oh. A little bit, I guess that was a little bit panicky, but I don't want to do those force beams again. Ah, uh, death lasers are not my friend. Neither, for that matter, is Quick Man. This guy is a pain in the butt to fight. <laughs> As you can see. Um, I'm not looking forward to trying to beat this guy without a, uh... Without using an energy tank. So, I may not do it. Oh. Come on, come on. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, come on. Dang it. This would be so much easier if I could face him more easily. Ah. Uh. Quick Man is not your friend. He jumps all over the place and it's almost impossible to predict. 
And I died again. If I get down to my last life, I will use that new tank. Uh, I don't want to make this boring. The best strategy I've found is to just try to stay as far away from him as possible. The less he is, the closer farther he is from you, the less he is going to be able to just jump into you and do it. Because his boomerangs are hard enough to avoid, but if he hits, if he runs into you, he's going to do you extra damage to you. And oh, he's down. Whew. <laughs> that guy. It's not easy. Ah. From Quick Man, we get equipped with Quick Boomerang. I don't know why I've siphonated. <laughs> it's, um, Quick Boomerang is. I mean, it's not the best weapon in the game, obviously. Well, I mean, it's a game. It's the game with Metal Blade in it. Of course, it's not the best weapon. But it's not terrible. It's got a lot of ammunition, like the Metal Blade, um, and it's not, like, that weak. It's probably about blaster level strength. Well, I think I have time, so I'm going to take on the next Robot Master in the Order. Actually, the next Robot Master in the Order would be Metal Man, who is technically weak to Quick Man's weapon discounting his weakness to his own weapon. That's just sad. But, I think I'd rather take on someone else. Oh dear, I cannot defeat Airman. But I can defeat Airman. Quick Boomerang is... Uh, does about as much damage as the Buster. And Quick Man is, uh, Airman is actually relatively weak to the Buster. Is, uh, these guys are just a matter of timing. See, I've used four quick boomerangs and haven't even cost myself one bar of energy. Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Yeah, it takes a lot to wear out quick boomerangs energy. Uh, for that matter, I'm not going to get all those energy bars, energy recovery things. I don't want to jump, go jumping on those tikis too much. Um, <laughs> that is one of the drawbacks of Quick Boomerang is that it's not the most uh, convenient weapon to use in terms of uh, its uh, trajectory, I guess. The fact that it has that limited distance and this that up and down kind of makes it a little bit tricky. Uh, there it is. It's a weapon that takes a little bit of getting used to, and I'm not sure I'm actually totally used to it. Ah! Hey, extra life! I've needed that. Um, uh, the pippies are. Annoying, but they're also great to grind against. Oh wow. Quick Boomerang appears to be reasonably effective against them. Mass destruction of birds! Um, as you can see, Quick Boomerang isn't the most powerful of weapons. Uh, so you need, may need to expend a bit of ammo to uh, get your enemies defeated, but since it has a lot of ammo, it doesn't tend to be too much of a problem. Uh, ow! <laughs> of course, you still don't want to waste it. Ah. You know, Mega Man really needs to stop losing his head. Okay, I know there are birds coming up, so... Ah. Energy recharge, to a minor degree. The combination of the pippies and the uh, the jet guys is a little bit troublesome. I think I just got two lives. Yes, I did. Holy smokes! These guys, they're just giving them away now. Uh, bird attack! Ow! 
Ugh, ugh. This fan guy is a little bit of a problem. But, okay, we're past him now. That energy bar, or energy recovery just worked. Um, I think I have taken care of all of the fan guys now, so I just want to maybe get a little bit more energy. Not weapon energy, but life energy. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. Let's be nice now, birds. Drop me some energy recovery. Maybe I should specify life energy, because it seems to want to give me a weapons energy instead. Come on. Ugh. Wow! Okay. I've noticed that pickups tend to be kind of clustered in this game. So if you're hit a lot of enemies in a row with a single weapon, it tends to like to drop the same item. I think that's why I had multiple why I got multiple lives earlier. The birds have disappeared. Birds! Where did you go? Come on, get back here! I still I still need life! Come on! You can't tell me I made you extinct already. Oh well. Airman! This will not be exactly easy. <laughs> the ability to s sling the buster in between some of those shots and uh, some of those uh, tornadoes is really nice. Come on, come <laughs> And I died. Uh, yeah, don't run into Airman. That's a bad idea. Fortunately, I picked up a bunch of extra lives. Airman's tornadoes blow you away. If your shot goes all the way across the screen, that's not going to be a problem. If it doesn't, well... Then you have issues. But, not too many issues. Hey, what's with those whirlwinds? Get off the screen! Airman's destroyed. You don't have any more power. Before defeating Airman, we get the Air Shooter, which is not a bad weapon, but it is it is a bit uh, inefficient, I guess. It shoots out three tornadoes at the cost of two bars of energy. Now, the three tornadoes are decently powerful, for no, well, there's no question about that, but it also, uh, you also don't get too many shots with it, so it's, I mean, among the weapons that you have in this game, it's not the worst, but it is a little bit, uh, it is a little bit tricky to get used to. Alright, well, that's two stages, and I think I have gotten myself a good start, so we'll wait until next time to go to the next stages. Until then, this is Doc, I will see you later.